How to import file into Outlook shared calendar. If you have been wondering how to import an ICS file into your Outlook shared calendar, you are in the right place. This process is straightforward and can help you keep your team organized. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to obtain the ICS file. This file format is commonly used for calendar exports from various platforms like Google Calendar or Apple iCal. Make sure you have this file saved on your device before proceeding. Next, sign in to your Outlook account, whether you are using the web version or the desktop application. Once you are logged in, navigate to the calendar section. You can find this option in the left-hand navigation pane. Now let's get to the importing part. If you are using Outlook on the web or Office 365, here is what you need to do. First, select the option that says Add Calendar, then choose Upload from File. Click on Browse to locate the ICS file you saved earlier and select Open. You will then see a drop-down menu under Calendar. Use this to choose the shared calendar where you want to import the events. Finally, click Import to complete the process. If you are using the Outlook desktop application, the steps are slightly different. First, open the shared calendar directly or ensure it is visible in your calendar list. Next, go to the File menu, then select Open and Export and choose Import Export. From the options, select Import an iCalendar file or vCalendar file. Then, browse to find your ICS file and select it. During the prompts, make sure to choose the shared calendar as your target. Keep in mind a few important considerations. First, you need to verify that you have edit access to the shared calendar. If you do not have this access, the import option may not show up. Also, remember that imported events from the ICS file are static. This means that if the original file changes, you will need to re-import it to update the events in your shared calendar. For those using shared mailbox calendars, ensure that the mailbox is added to your Outlook profile first. This is essential for the import to work correctly. You can use this method for various practical purposes. For example, you can import team schedules or project timelines into a shared calendar. This is especially useful for collaborative planning, such as adding conference or training schedules. If you run into any issues, like the shared calendar not appearing during the import, try refreshing your calendar list or restarting Outlook. If your ICS file is large, consider splitting it into smaller batches to avoid timeout errors. This method allows for centralized calendar management, making it easier for teams to stay on the same page. Always test with a small. File first to ensure everything works smoothly.